In this video, I will show you how you can turn off the automatic exposure inside of the iPhone camera. Now, the important part is that it is turned on by default. And if you look it up inside of the settings, if you click on it and go to the camera section, you don't really have any options for exposure, as you can notice, like only formats and record videos in different formats, which is fine, but that's, that's basically all the stuff that you have. If you want to lock the exposure or stop the automatic exposure, it doesn't matter if you are inside of the video or photo camera, but open up the camera like this. And if you just want to stop the automatic, you have to lock it somewhere. So all you have to do is just to hold down, for example, here on the MacBook or it doesn't matter which the subject you choose, just hold down like this for like two or three seconds. And now the exposure is locked. This basically means that I can move it around and do whatever I want and the uh, exposure is not going to change automatically based on my environment. What's also good is that I can grab the sun which is right next to the, the square right here and actually slide it up and down to adjust the exposure and it's actually going to stay this way because it's locked as you can see at the top. But the important part is that at the top, you can see the description, which is AE slash AF lock, which means that it's automatic exposure bundled together with the automatic focus. So this is very important because when you lock the exposure, you want to make sure that you lock it in a specific place. For example, I have to lock it on my computer on the left side right here because I want this PC screen to be focused on. If I lock the exposure on the background, the background is going to become focused and this is going to become blurry now. So it really depends on what you want to do with it, but that's how it basically works. Now, if you don't want to have it together, if you don't like that, it is like bundled like this. The only other option you have is to download a third party app for it. And I've mentioned that this pro cam before, but you can go ahead and download it for like 10 bucks. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. And using this app, you can control all of the stuff manually. So you can manually set the exposure and then you set the, um, you can see here's the auto exposure slider. So you can set it up manually separately as well as ISO focus, all the stuff as if you were holding an actual DSLR or mirrorless camera. So really nice stuff. So for the basic user, the camera, the built-in one is going to be fine. If you want to be more professional, you, you can download a third party app as well for this, but this is going to be about it. If you like the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, but definitely check out the link in the description, which is going to get you to the Fox tech educational platform, which is free to join. And inside what you may be interested in is a free video editing course on Adobe rush, which is like fully specked out with like all of the features and all the tips which I have for you there. So definitely go ahead and check it out. It's free. Besides, there is like much more other content available. So go ahead and do that right now. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.